All right, standard shakeup. It's Fairy's band. It's Fairy's band. High dark races banned. Next to fate banned. These are all the cards that are banned. Fun event on arena, and of course on the screen. Those are all the cards that are banned, and you can't play those cards because they're banned. Best of one standard event for only a few days, only on arena. We've been playing a bunch of decks so far. We went six and zero with goblins, three and two with dinosaurs. Kind of surprising. Uh, two and three with bolus because those Grixis decks always suck, and then one and four with blue white control. That one kind of was sad. But our last deck is a deck I actually have played on stream before a number of times. I like a lot. And it doesn't have any of the banned cards in the format in it. So this is the exact deck list that I played previously um, in regular standard. And I mean, if the format loses 19 cards and we get to play the same deck we were playing in standard anyway, How did you get here? can't be bad, right? Yeah. So this is my Chandra Tribal deck. It is a mono-red Planeswalker deck based around all the Chandras. Um, actually, this is the wrong list. This, that's actually the real deck. That's funny. This is the Shake-Up deck. I changed one card. Uh, we're playing four Chandras and uh, Fire Artisan and only one Regulator. This card's kind of eh. Um, but yeah, Planeswalker deck. A lot of removal, a lot of Planeswalkers. Not too complicated, you know. Um, Chandra's Triumph, very, very good spell. Uh, just in general, honestly. Huge upside if you're playing Chandra's. Uh, Lava Coil, Shock, Jaya. Uh, so Sahili's insane, Sarkin's insane, and the Chandra's are all good. Uh, Mono Red is really cool because you get to play four, ba four beacons and four mobilized districts. Get a lot of value from our lands. A lot of value. And then uh, we top off with Jaya's Immolating Inferno. This card's really cool because A, it's a powerful card. And B, Chandra can flash it back, which is really cool. So, that's our deck. Let's battle. Again, we are playing the Dominaria Standard Shakeup event. Uh, you saw all the cards that were banned. We're going to play five matches. We've already won our prizes, but you can see here, this is a free-to-play event on Arena, and you get to win these awesome Mirage lands. Oh, wait. Hold on. i got to fix something. There's a serious mistake in my deck. Really serious mistake. What are these? Come on. The biggest benefit to playing this deck is I get to play 16 awesome Mirage Mountains. Oh, look at them. Oh, they're beautiful. You love it. You love to see it. No, not 61. 16 is good. One of the best mountains of all time. Of all time. Yeah, I want to save my changes. Let's go. Did I 61? Don't scare me like that, Lobmancer. 60 cards. We're good. We're good. Dominaria. Standard shakeup. Let's battle. Pretty interested to see how this one's going to go. Honestly. <sighs> and of course, if you're just tuning in, welcome. My name's from Davis. If you haven't followed, stream with that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. We're opening that bad boy up. After this, Nicole's going to come help me unpack my new computer. A little box opening video exciting exciting watch out for mill decks we have not played against any mill decks today essence capture versus a hard counter it's very dependent on mana efficiency in future turns and stuff is origin sponsoring me uh no not officially but they did give me a discount on the uh on the, the computer for promoting them via the stream and the box opening video, which I'm, I'm going to do as well. And honestly, they, they were really easy to work with, and uh, I'm pretty stoked to open this thing up and get it, get it started. I'm going to have to have two computers going at once. I'm going to set up the computer over there and uh, work on setting things up, because I can't take this computer down before that computer's up. So, Well, no thought erasure, that's for sure. Hero of Precinct 1. Yeah. So Esper Hero with no Teferi, no Teferi, and no Thought Erasure. I love it. I love it. Definitely not a deck I would expect to see with all the cards they banned. Right? They banned... Yeah, so there's no Teferi, no Teferi, no Thought Erasure. And the crowd goes wild. I guess they could have Thief of Sanity. That would kind of suck. I mean, we can Chandra Flashback Shock. 
It's actually not a bad, that's a good draw. Not a bad sequence here to get to uh, Sahili into Chandra Flashback Shock for two tokens. Was that counter this? Dugans? Ito. Eh, better they have in here, you know? Sure. So we have to do the exact play I said we were going to do. No, bad, bad tap. Bad arena. Jeez, what a terrible tap that was. Also a bad tap. Arena. I swear. It's not that complicated. Mono red, super friends. It's better than having a plan. It's better than bad. It's good. Not a bad turn. Our hand is stacked. The board is empty. Life is good. Life is good. I love these. These mountains are sick. They just look so nice. I just love to see it, you know? Everywhere. Mountains everywhere. Deputy of Detention. Sure. Not a problem. Alright, um... I'm gonna show Sarkin here for sure. Gentlemen, behold, dragons. I guess they have to, like enter the God Eternals here. It's pretty annoying. I guess hostage takers. Anything that kills my dragons kind of annoying, but we got Chandra rolled up. That's fine. Chandra rolled up. We got Tibski rolled up. Not a Chandra or Tibski. Tibski doesn't really do much here. We're still not super concerned about life gain. There's a Chandra. Good tap. Better tap this time. Like it. I guess this was bad. Because I should have plussed Sarkin first, because now they can like Doomblade my Chandra. Yeah, it's that was dumb. Mox Amber? That was actually insane. I can cast Tybalt, too. Wow. you love to see it. I prefer the matte sleeves, uh, pure. The glossy sleeves are slippery. Give them, you know, five games of shuffling, and they'll be fine. Um, I prefer the mats, though, because they, they have a little more stick to them. The way I shuffle is pretty aggressive, and I'm pretty, like, on them. So the slip, more slippery sleeves can slip around a little bit, uh, but give them give them like five games and they'll they'll smooth out. You guys, they mortify, sure, but Chandra's still alive, so it didn't really make that much of a difference in the game itself. And now I think we're actually in, in great shape. Gets on top of the Chandra. I also just have two districts too, which is great. Soren Vengeful Blood Lord. That's pretty good. Right, Cole stole my phone. And hey Nicole, if you'd like to play a game or two uh, before the PC opening in this. Um, and I'm gonna eat a little bit, all right? If you're watching, I assume you're watching. No problem. Fire can't Mountain. Fall. Okay. Um, and we can fire these districts up and go after Soren. Can also play more Tibski. I mean, these cost two to activate, so activate, activate, and then I can play Tib Tibble post combat if I want to. All right, so let's do that. Huh, they're so cute. Not too much. Fire you up. Fire you up. And now we 
these both attack that, and there's no point in this stacking, so I'll just attack with these. So I'm gonna keep Sora and they have to double chump block. Which they will not do. And now he just come one day. Tipski again. Make some more devils. My assistants are painfully sloppy. Pretty happy that this game is going so far. I think Chandra Fire Artisans are the most important uh, cards in this deck. This is the card draw is so good. Pete six 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 says, "Jim, big fan, love the streams. Keep up the good work. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate it." We got five hundred and thirty-three viewers. That's a pretty big jump. How's it going, everyone? Welcome. My name's Jim Davis. How's it going? Uh, we're playing some standard shakeup. What's that? It's this. They ban nineteen cards for three days only. Most of the best best cards in the format banned. And uh, we get to burp some decks and have some fun. I think it's a little short. It should be a week, I think. But really, really fun, uh, exciting way to explore the format. This is pretty interesting. Like, pretty easy block here and here, honestly. I play dinosaurs. We actually went um, went three and two with dinosaurs. Uh, the Jun dinosaur deck is completely untouched by the bannings. I'm pretty surprised that um, Llanowar Elf and Marauding Raptors are both not on the ban list. But, um... I would assume that Jun Dinosaurs would be really, really good. We lost to uh, we lost to a Blue White Flyers deck that raced us. We lost to a Salt Eye Flash deck that just like one for one does to death. Uh, I would say Blue Green Flash seems very good in this format. Yeah, one there. It seems like this was not a very good play for my opponent. Why did they do this? What were they thinking? We did play Lanterals and Dinosaurs, yes. In general, I mean, the deck is pretty bad against the fairy, I think. I don't know what their plan was here. If their plan was for all their creatures to die and me to get back Chandra and only lose two devils, I mean, it's a plan, I suppose. Iron Scorn to bounce their deputy. So they're going to recast deputy. On Big Chandra, I guess? Do I like a little Teferi in standard? Uh, define the like. I am out of here. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, over here. As in Hoopland hates it? I think as a design, it's a little overboard. Um, I think the static and the plus ability should probably have flipped. Um, I, think, I think they pushed Narset and Teferi a little too hard. Oh, we won. Um, I don't think it should be banned or anything. It's just a really good card. But I think it's there's a lot of unseen things that Teferi does to a game um, that are pretty damn frustrating. And they just keep coming up more and more and more. Bradley, Bardley, Nelson with the huge host. Brad, thank you so much. If you haven't seen Brad's stream, I mean, Brad's obviously a world-class magic player and a good dude. Check him out. FF Freak MTG. One of my mods can give me a little link for that. Make it super easy for you. Bard Narson. And uh, if you're just thinking, welcome. Uh, my name is Jim Davis, of course. We are playing the standard shakeup event. That's right. For three days only, they banned 19 cards in standard. And um, I imagine Brad would like this event, honestly. Just like a Brewer's Paradise. Um, really fun format. We played a bunch of decks today. This is our last deck in Chandra Tribal. And we can keep this hand. It's a little sketchy, but any red land or any... Any red land or beacon makes it good. I'm just going to keep it, whatever. Brad was playing this earlier. Sweet. Yeah, we played Goblins, went 6-0. We played Jun Dinosaurs, went 3-2, surprisingly. Uh, Grixis Control, went 2-3. This Nickel Bowl is just a terrible magic card. 1-4, Blue Eye Control. A little pilot error on that one. And now we're 1-0 with uh, this deck. Yeah. Ooh. Leyline of Abundance. May punish me, me, punish me for my slightly loose keep here. Okay. Me 
basically any land that's not a district. Guild Globe? Oh boy, they're deep. Yeah, they unbanned instance. Oh my god. What did I say? I said any land but mobilized district. What's up, Chaz? Five month reset, welcome back. God damn it. Grixis is bad. Oh, thank god. Alright, so now we can do everything. Um, now we can Chandra, Mox Amber. Um, we're setting up for Awakened Inferno. Yeah, don't want a regulator too. Yeah, I think I want a regulator. That seems pretty cool. So we gotta tap like that. I think we should make tokens of attack. Obviously, we can kill this if they tap it. And I don't think we're gonna like die or anything next turn, so. This card hasn't been great. The regulator. Ooh, 1,000 viewers. What's up, everyone? Uh, Great White Bowhunter says, I'm building modern goblins. In a theoretical world where Hogak is banned, what's the the sideboard for goblins? Uh, no ley lines. Oh. Oh. That was a good draw. Ooh, that was a good one. Um, all the lists I post will be up on YouTube. All right, yeah, we're gonna give him the old, uh, give him the old business here. How about X is three? A one, two, three. Concession in five, four, three, two, one. You'll love to see it. This, this is a special format, folks. This is the, again, the standard uh, shakeup, the Dominaria standard shakeup. You can see on the screen now. It's a three-day event on Arena with all the most popular cards in the format, mostly. Um, banned. I don't know why Brineborn, Cutthroat, and Benelish Marshall are on here, but whatever, sure. So that's the list, and these are all the cards that are banned in the format. And uh, just a fun three-day event. And I think that um, I think that things like this are awesome. I asked for things like this on Magic Online all the time. I think that these are the kind of things that really make the digital game super exciting and they're easy to do because trying to run an event like this at a local store is very very difficult you have to have enough players you have to explain to them all um it's like a time and place sort of thing it's just it's just tough but online it's super easy you just get to sit down and you know make a bowl of popcorn or something and get a, get a beer or something and just sit down and brew some decks and you play some games and it's fun you know um so i, I love stuff like this i think it's just super super cool Gutter Ball. Alright, well, looks like we're gonna lava coil this Gutter Ball because we lost a Gutter Ball pretty bad lately. And yes, and the, the best thing is the event's free to play, and the prizes are these awesome Mirage basic lands. Which are dope. Love old lands. Right, they're gonna try and aristocrat us. With no two drop? Crazy person. Crazy person. Yeah, this is like one of the best mountains of all time. What does the title mean? We're playing an event. Teferi's banned in this event. Type in shakeup for information. Alex Arex Trabeck. It's a fun name. What are you doing here, opponent? Legion War Boss. Oh, let's trigger resolve. Say I should have probably just triumphed it. Yeah, I think the thing is, like, they need to figure out exactly what they want to do with these surprise events. Um, for example, there was the Amazonian Play Anything event, where you would draft, and two mountains. And every card was free, three card hand. Very, very fun. Would not want to do that for more than once or twice. It's a really good, like, one or two day, like, weekend thing. I think for an event like this, you have to build decks. It takes time to brew and think about things or whatever. I'd much prefer it if it was um, a much longer time period. 
Okay, so maybe we should have just triumphed the war boss last turn and saved the flame sweep, honestly. That was probably bad. But. That is true. The fairy time bender is legal. Oh, look, we can Chandra the, uh, the flame sweep. That's awesome. Right, and like, if they're just not available on the weekend and I still want to play it, it's. I think the window's too short. They'll fix it, though. Ugin the Inevitable or Sh or Chandra? Okay. And again, it is a little tough too because like people don't want to craft wild cards for an event that they are not going to be able to play all the time. So, I mean, I think the Omniscient Trap was very, very fun. I would not want to do it for more than a few times though. That's just me personally, you know. All right, so there's a Chandra. Um... We can Chandra a Lava Coil here, but we'll lose the Chandra to attacks. Or we can just, like, triumph the War Boss, take a hit for a turn. Uh, so maybe just Chandra plus, actually. I think I actually like that. Yeah, I mean, obviously this is an event that encourages you to have a large collection. No doubt about it. Um, you know, if you only have one standard deck on Arena can't really brew as much for sure you know and we were saying earlier they can make it so like wild cards that are redeemed during this period get unredeemed at the end of it but that's kind of crazy so judith the scourge diva that is a really good one that is going to kill my chandra unfortunately but i think we're still in fine shape sit back and watch it burn I said that a possible way to make this event more fun, we were saying that maybe the event is currently free and the prizes are the cool basic lands. If you made the event cost gems, but also made it so any wild card crafted during the event period would be uncrafted at the end of the period. So you just get your wild card back. You know, that could be a, a possible solution, but this is a, uh, this is pretty good. We get Ugin here. Ugin's kind of a nice pickup, but I don't think we can cast Ugin yet. Let's just plus. We're going to plus Chandra and Triumph the, uh, the thing. Karn is pretty hard to kill at the moment. Sahili, that's really good, too. It's Sahili or a small Chandra. I mean, small Chandra for Flame Sleep is also really good, so... You can see you confuse everyone doesn't have every card. They're in the tank. That's honestly great white bow hunter. That's not a bad idea. If they just made it so everyone had all the cards for this event. Like you could build a deck without owning the cards and load it into this event and just play. Um That's like they obviously need they want to sell cards though, so like it's a little against that. I think that um, Sahili might actually just be great here. We just Sahili and Triumph make a token block. This seems, that seems great, actually. Um, actually, the the Judith will kill the token. That's not great. So I Triumph, tr trigger, then this dies, and I kill the token, then still get to attack. Right, what's, what's your Chandra here? I think Chandra's fine. Yeah, I, oh, that's also, like, logistically different and difficult, so... District, sure. Alright, let's just go here. I'm feeling pretty good about this game. Our card advantage engines are going on nicely. No, for sure. I, I mean, I think that giving everyone a taste... God, that's good, too. I think giving everyone a taste of having the cards for a weekend and then taking it away from them is definitely a good way to sell things also. Again, we're in a beta, you know, like they're still figuring these things out. Um, so there's definitely a lot of things they can do. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. <laughs> Disclaimer, I never sold crack, but I wasn't a hove. Got it. <laughs> 
I sold kilos of coke. I guess that I can sell CDs. I'm not a businessman. I'm a businessman. Let me handle my business. Damn. Spit some bars. I can spit some bars. All right. So Karn goes to. Please stop. Please stop. They have lightning strike. Ooh. All right. We got a game here. There is always another fight. They're supposed to release. They're supposed to be out of beta. Uh, by the end of the year. Will they actually be? God damn. Alright, pretty bad, uh... Pretty bad rips here. That was a good lightning strike. I think that... That was, uh, that was tough for us. I mean, I can place a Healy, but it's just gonna die. I mean, we have District to block, too. Place a Healy and then block with District, and then Healy would go to one, and they draw a card too. I guess I just gotta do that. Robert says, "By the way, the soundtrack on the Silent Stream was legit, the best I've heard on any Twitch stream ever." Yeah, I mean, my my music is by far the best on Twitch. Twitch, it's not even close. I used to be a radio DJ, played a lot of bands. I know some stuff. I know a few things, you know? We can kill the goblins without them drawing, yes. We, 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 want, to, we want to keep our Sahili alive, though, so... Ah, 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 question five. Question five. So we're going to block and they're going to draw. I would love to get like one or two tokens out of Sahili before it dies. That'd make me really, really happy. So. Yeah, Wyatt has a good stream. I like Wyatt's stream. Wyatt is. He's very, very articulate and clear. He's a good voice. I like Wyatt's stream. That was a really good draw. Also a really good draw. It's you burning. Yeah, this is everything we've ever wanted. This is everything we want. This is everything we need. Me and Nicole went out on Saturday. Yesterday. It was yesterday. Nicole came home from Disney. I hadn't seen her in a few days, so we went out on a little date. And we played some Pokemon, caught some Sukuns, and then went to a bar afterwards to get some, to get some food and a drink. And we walked into the bar, and... The guy ID'd us, because me and Nicole look really young and good looking, even though we're both really old. And there was like a, a Matchbox 20 song playing in the bar. And I'm like digging through my my wallet, and Nicole's like, I know all the words to this song, is that good enough? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just pretty funny. Adelie's good in this format? Adelie's is never good. I like Adelie's, but it's never good. Magic G. Thanks for the resub, my friend. Four months of fun thanks for all the great content. Thanks, sir. thanks my friend, I appreciate it. Here with that follow button, that follow button. Ooh. Are they playing our goblin deck? Nice flame sweep. It was Wonderwall. It was Wonderwall, right? Sorry, Wonderwall. I apologize. That was the 90s song. Nicole, we're gonna need need you soon for uh, this this box opening. And I might take a little break and eat some food. Gonna play a game or two. Has the house search been going well? It's going somewhere. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if it's going well, but it's definitely going somewhere. We looked at more, looked at more houses today. This is interesting. Skirk Prospector Boris Challenger. Wish you would step back from that ledge. Wait, that's that's not that's its jumper. What's Wonderwall? You're my Wonderwall. Yes, that's Oasis, right? Uh, Alright, so... Uh, Cause maybe... You gotta be the one that saves me. Need some karaoke. Um, Alright, uh, focus on the game. I'm gonna Chandra's triumph this. I'm just gonna do it now. Gotta be the one that saves me. You're my wonder wall. 
Switch karaoke time. Jumpers, third eye blind, I believe, yeah. Skirk Prospector getting dirty here. Tibski. Tibski seems pretty nice at the moment. The only thing to fear is my friend is here to help you. What's the line? The only thing to fear is what? I'm gonna hold this. I need to play that. Nineties. The old nineties. This isn't even good though. If they die fleet Daredevil, they shoot my thing, I shoot their thing. Oh, that's fine, I guess. Sure, whatever. We definitely need to draw, like, some sort of planeswalker, but I think we're definitely in good shape here. We're just sitting behind a wall, we have five removal spells. No. They say fear itself. It's like a weird thing for. Tybalt to say. Tybalt's a weird dude, you know? Ooh, I like it. The Bugler? Just sound the Horn of Gondor. So, hopefully they get a 2-drop and play it, and this Flame Sweep kills everything. Do I enjoy the band Hard Fi? I have no idea who that is. Alright, so we need to save this sweep for the Siege Gang Commander that is looming. They still don't want to attack, which makes sense. No. Every turn this devil wants to attack. This devil is devilish. Please play Siege Gang Commander. Oh yeah! You love to see it. You love to see it. The Dragic Murphys are okay. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I respect them. I like what they're doing. That's true, I did, I did cut up. They could have shocked me with this, the thing. Whatever. CJ Gang Prospector, won't even do it. Won't even do it. Well. Wish you would step back from that bitch, my friend. Do I like AJR? Don't know what that is. Reclamation is good in this format. People are saying the team of Reclamation is pretty good. Boar Challenger? Sure. Alright, so we should draw a Planeswalker. That's what we're looking for here. There's one. Doesn't turn on my, um, my Mox Amber, but it is a Planeswalker. Thanks for following, everyone. If you haven't followed, just remember that follow button, of course. If watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. If you missed any of the decks that I've played today, go on YouTube. They'll be on there over the next two days. Uh, went 6 0 with Mono Red Goblins. Uh, dinosaurs, Grixis Control, Blue Eye Control. A lot of fun stuff. Evil Empire. Sweet. How's it going, everyone? Thanks for following. I appreciate it. I'm usually on during the day. Not, not usually my usual time slot, but me and Nicole were out looking at houses all day and uh, helping, her, helping her brother and their family move. We can choose between Shock and Chandra Acolyte of Flame. Sure. And, uh, gonna give him the old coil ski here. Yeah, we bought a house, but, um, yeah, we're not moving into it. Information is in the link I just put in. You watch the video if you want. Charlie, you really want to get into it. Unbreakable Formation. Wow. Uh, Alright. You have an indestructible creature. It's interesting. I mean, as long as I can't get this thing up to five toughness, we're fine. So. Oh, my bad. Mubby. Uh, 
uh, yeah. I guess it can do that. That's a legal play. They have a lightning strike to finish off Karn. That would suck. Shock? Okay. Alright, so they've denied me my Chandra. Let's plus again. It's very banned. Not fake news. It's real news. Just only on uh, Arena for the next two days news. Alright. Uh... Alright, Lava Coil that. Uh, you can just fire up the old district here. Tap better than that, though. Apparently that is a that is too good of a board position for my opponent to come back from. So we're four and zero now with the uh, the Chandra deck, right? Is that, is that three or four wins? And again, folks, you can see here the event pays out in Mirage Basics. That's a nice mountain. That's a nice swamp. We're four and zero. Three and zero, or four and zero. Talk to me. I can never keep track of this stuff. And again, there's your ban list if you're just tuning in for all the cards that are uh, banned in this format. A lot of them. It's a lot of them. Three and them? Okay. I mean, how can we not keep this hand? The old three, four, five, six curve of Planeswalkers with three awesome mountains. Easy keep. No one drop, please. Health Collector? Ugh. Uh, The Stompy deck might be good against us. We can't beat a Galta. Blue Eye Control did not go well. But I also did not play very well. So, oh boy, yeah, if we get galted, yes, the cards are only banned for this event, correct. Yeah, I think the, I think the blue eye control deck was much better than the, than the, than the one four we had, but, yeah, Steel Leaf Champion's tough. Honestly, Galt is like the real bad one, like, if they play Galt next turn, we just can't win. Yeah, I mean, kept a little bit of a loose hand here, and now we're getting severely punished for it. Um, I don't think we can actually win this game, no matter what. If we had run Flame Sweep this turn exactly, maybe we could have, but we have, like, actual no plays. We kept a loosey one. It's five anyway. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to concede. All right. Next game. Next game. Defeat. Defeat tastes bad. 3 1. And again, folks, I have this new computer back here from Origin PCs that we're going to be opening up uh, pretty soon, actually. Nicole's going to come help me out. I'm pretty stoked. And you should be too, because a lot of cool new stuff's coming in that computer. Uh, this thing's great. The old Sahili Mox Amber hand feels really nice. Obviously, you need to draw land, but we have a kill spell also, so. Tin Street Dodger. That's a good land draw. Look no numbers, 14 months. Well, 14 months. Hmm, Dodger again? Is this a goblin deck, or is this a, um, like the, the bloody red deck, cavalcade deck? think I'm casting Chandra's Triumph here? Maybe I am, just to make my Sahili better. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, if they play a Spitfire, I might just die to it. But Sarkin can make a Dragon on turn 4, which is nice. We'll just kill this. So, if... If this lives and he gets to untap and play Sarkin, it's game. Mm, yep, we're good. Not to brag, but I'm totally oh, they're so, cute. so easy block here, and of course the Sarkin passive looks pretty damn good on this board. Guns on mine. Behold! We begin! 
magnificent. Love it. Love it. Sarkin. Passive, of course, deals one damage to all attackers for each dragon we control. Pretty good against uh, a million one ones. We got the old Oogski next turn, too. This deck is sweet. I like this deck. Sure. So. Dragon would rather die than lose. Well, you're dead. So. I guess you lose. I don't think Sarkin really understands how that work. That works. And then, I mean, that is that is his preference, I guess. So without help, Shahili lives. We get to Ugin make a token, make a token. Say hi to my fiery friends. Hi. Oh, my bad. Streamdecker is now updated. Sorry. No. There, there. <laughs> That's true. Maybe it is die, then lose. I'd rather die, then lose, not just lose. Makes sense. Makes sense. Alright, so... Don't care about the dragon dying, because now we have Ugin. And it's Hoken. And it's Hoken. Eh, that's not great. I have a land under, under a token. That's fine. As long as Ugin lives the turn, we get to untap. I'm feeling pretty good about this game. I think one more spell for us. One more good spells. Should probably seal it. Ooh. Campering Scorcher. This is definitely a cavalcade deck. Alright, so Sahili's dead no matter what. So we get to block the two things trying to attack Ugin. Yeah, without without cavalcade it's not nearly as good, obviously, but we're a pretty healthy 20 here too, so. We do need to draw spells, that is definitely a thing. That's a spell. Under my thing. Um Do we poke Chandra or not? If they scorch her again, they have six attackers. My Ugin will still live. I'm gonna attack Chandra. I'm telling the abbots. If they have cavalcade, it still lives also, so. Oh, they're so cute. Yes, they are adorable. I believe this is the one that's not. Yeah. Caution, mortals. Right. Thought it was easy to tell which one's which. The beacon? Sure. Sure. Lava coil? Sure. Now, we'll attack there and there. In, in the case they kill this, I'm pretty happy to get Chandra anyway, so... Cool. I'm burnt out. Yeah, you are burnt out. Risk factor. Uh, take four. <laughs> Not a problem. Yeah. This deck's sweet. I like this deck a lot. Let's do one more game with this deck, because I kind of just chucked that last game by keeping a bad hand and getting rolled. I just want to burn stuff already. Yes. Shauna does sound like an annoying 14-year-old girl. Yes. Or any annoying 14-year-old for that matter. I'm sure I was pretty annoying at 14 too. Yeah, we're going to keep. We're going to draw land, but... I mean, you can't not keep this hand, right? It has all three Chandras in it. Oh, right. I mean, she's supposed to be an annoying teenage girl. That's, that's kind of the point. So, RJ, two-month reset. Welcome back. RJ, that's month number two, and you chose to come back, and I appreciate that. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate that so much. For those who don't know... Ooh, this is bad. They're playing a reclamation deck. For those who don't know, subscribing to the stream is the best way to support me as a Magic player and a streamer. My full-time gig is what I do for a living, and your support makes that possible. Five bucks a month. You subscribe. What do you get? You get... 
All my cool emotes. No ads. And then the more important stuff of, um, you get access to my private Discord chat server, which is awesome. Super great community in there. Everyone hangs out and chats about magic and not magic and everything. Also the best way to get to me if you want to know about, if you have questions about decks and sideboarding stuff like that, I'd be happy to help there. Also get access to all my VODs, uh, my videos on demand. Don't gotta wait, don't gotta wait, wait for YouTube. We're doing a free Survivor Football League this year for all my subs uh, with prizes. Oh God, this is my thing on my light. Um, which is gonna be awesome. So again, Survivor Football League, for those that don't know, pick one team to win each week. Uh, if they win, you go on, they lose, you're out. And free prizes, lots of fun. If you don't know football at all, you can just guess and pick, uh, pick one team every week. Try and get lucky to win, that's fine too. All subs get Christmas cards. Um, all the Christmas cards this year are going to go out with my new Goblin token, courtesy of CoolStuffThings.com. I'll show that in one second. I have to repair my light, and I have to attack for two, and I have to... I don't have fancy stream light. I just have a uh, a light with a piece of wax paper over it, basically. This new token. Pretty cool, right? Focus. There you go. Pretty awesome token, courtesy of CoolStuffInc.com. And uh, again, one of these will go out with every every Christmas card this year. So, pretty sweet. I assume my opponent's playing Team of Reclamation, which seems really, really good against us. Uh, and not trying to land is really bad for us. So, we're probably in big trouble. They're, they're a combo deck, basically. No Sarkin either. Sarkin's the card that allows us to turn the corner quickly in bad matchups, and uh, there's no Sarkin here. We've all heard grindy cards, but if they just go over the top of us with Reclamation, then there's no grind. There's no grinding to be had. So, what's up, Eric? Cool token, right? The art's out of this world. Good. Yeah, the Survivor League last week was really fun because. There was some insane upset in week three, and like 90% of the league was out in week three. Yeah, we just, we just can't beat this. They're gonna like, you know, explosion expansion us or whatever. I don't know land. It's not bad, I guess. The problem is that Chandra Fire Ours doesn't really do much either, but. Don't worry, I brought company. Like. You probably have Fog in their deck, Expansion Explosion, Fiery Cannonade. Well, I guess I'm an idiot for making a token pre-combat. I've not seen the card Fiery Cannonade played in a long time. Flame Sweep also just seems better than that, but we're in trouble. We are definitely in trouble. Man. This is a deck that was like completely unplayable because of Teferi and Narset. And no Teferi, less Narsets. Yeah. Um That one's pretty hard to beat. I'm not going to lie. Uh This is like the standard deck from like Five months ago. I think Ross put this like in an open like five months ago. Oh my god. Uh, I mean, Triumph's gonna kill it. Maybe if the Chandra even lives. Now things are getting heated. Yeah, it's not gonna live. We're dead. They let it live? Uh... Okay. I can't do anything else, though. So I have to triumph this. I'm just gonna concede. I don't play anymore. We're, we have no chance to win this game. They have a million cards in hand. We can kill this, it'll cost us multiple cards, and we have no board, and we can't beat Reclamation. Yeah. That was not a good one. Not a good one for us. 
All right, so whatever. Um, but yeah, so definitely a super fun format. Um, I enjoyed doing that. Hopefully you all enjoyed watching it. Again, if you missed any of the decks we played so far, um, they're all going to be on YouTube. So Blue Eye Control, Goblins, went 6-0 and with Goblins. Uh, the Bolas deck, the Dinosaur deck, and the Chandra deck as well. Um, so if you're watching on YouTube now, go check those out, subscribe and stuff, and you're all great. Love y'all.